Hello. Welcome to today's tutorial on how to use the resources section of Schoology.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can add your own resources as well as how to access resources that other teachers have uploaded as public. So here I am in my resources section. One of the things that you'll notice is how organized you can be within your resources. Within resources, you can add new resources, which come in many styles. And there are some options that if you click on, you can move your resources around by clicking on the button and dragging it up or down. Once you're happy with how it is, you submit, and that gets saved as the order of your resources. Now, here's how I recommend using resources. For all of my courses, uh, I take and create resources in the resources section. So my resources, which is what we're looking at, is where I go first. As an example, I have a course called 21st Century Classroom. So I have a folder for that course. I open the course, and within this folder, I have it organized into assignments, discussions, resources, and then a couple of things that I'm not sure if they fit into a folder. Once I go into a folder, such as assignments, I can then click and add resources. Most typically it would be additional assignments. We can also use this navigation bar up here for getting back to the 21st Century Classroom folder or all the way back to the home folder. Once I have materials selected and inserted, I can either add them individually or I can add an entire folder into a group. So let's take a look over here and see what's hiding under this menu bar. This edit button would allow me to edit the name of the folder. Add to course, which is something I use frequently to move the folder from here to the course. One important thing to note is that it is making a copy of the resources folder so changes to the resources folder in resources will not affect what is currently in a course. Copy to would allow me to make a copy to another folder. Move to would allow me to move the folder to another folder and delete would delete it. So let me demonstrate the move to. When I click move to I get a new folder that pops up and it's indicating what collection, which is I only have a home collection, but in my home collection you can see I have several folders broken down into additional folders. So if I wanted to move this folder I could easily do that and move it to any other place. However, if I wanted to make a second copy of a folder I would then use copy to instead. Once I have my resources I'm then going to move either entire folders or in the situation with assignments I might move individual assignments. So here is a new folder that I've created called blogging. I want to add this folder to my course so I'm going to come in here and do add to course. Now all the courses that I am an administrator of pop up. I select the one I want to work with and if I've defined folders already in that course they will be available to me. If however I selected a course that had no folders there would be nothing there available. So I'm going to add this to our current resources for that course now when I enter the course and I go to my materials resources section I will see the blogging folder has been added. So let's take a look at resources from the side of being inside a course. When you come to the materials page as an instructor I see all the folders that have assigned to that group. However these two folders I've chosen uh, to make invisible to the users 
and you can see that it's turned on here, hidden, while these two are currently still visible to the user. I could also change that by changing the availability. I can also add materials such as assignments from my resources section and when I do they'll automatically be put into Schoology defined areas. Assignments would go here, test quizzes, etc. You'll notice my files and links say 70 items. Anytime I move a folder with files or links in it into my course, all the files and links are not only kept in the folder, but they are also added to this section. For me, I find this a tad bit confusing, so I choose to hide this section from my users. You can add materials here. Add a folder, add any type of assignment, discussion, etc., or I can import from resources. This will open up access to the resources that I've created, allowing me to check off what I want to add in. Import, and it will add it to my course. Finally, find resources. This brings me to the public resources section of Schoology. This can be found two ways, as we just did, or when I go to resources, there is public resources under that tab. If I happen to be in my resources, public resources also shows up as a tab there. What I might choose to use from public resources would be completely dependent upon what it is I'm looking for. When I enter the resources, I can choose to surf by narrowing down what the options are. For example, if I know I'm just looking for web links, I could choose to filter out any content that's not web links. And if I want to get directly into my subject, I could choose math off the list. Quickly narrowing down what the resource is, what grade level, perhaps 10. And quickly I can see some people have indeed added some resources that might be of interest to me. When I find a resource of interest, I can click on this button on the right side to add it into my resources. It'll ask me if I want to organize. By default, it'll place it in the Downloads folder or the Home folder. I'm going to leave it in Downloads, and then I'm going to return to My Resources to show you how that shows up. Here I am in My Resources. On the left, you'll see Home, Google Docs, Downloads, and Public. If I go to Downloads, here are things that I've downloaded over time. And then if I want, I can now check this and choose to move it to a more relevant location. Another nice feature in the resources is the ability to connect to a Google Docs account. If your school has Google Apps for Education or if you use your personal account, you can immediately log into your Google Docs account from your settings tab. If you have logged in, then you can find access to all of your content in Google Drive here on this page. So I could choose to import any of these items, check off what I want, copy to, and select copy. It does convert the document instead of creating a link to that document, and now it's created as a docx, which I can then move to another folder and use how I like. Thank you for joining me on today's tutorial on how to use Schoology's resources. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Leave a message as a comment here, and I will reply to you.